You do not necessarily need a photo editing software on your computer to edit your images. Pixelhour.com offers the possibility to upload pictures onto their page. There, they can be edited and then saved on your computer again. In this screencast, we will focus on the online usage of PixelR, how to open image files, how to set the picture size, and how to save the picture. Let's go to the homepage www.pixelr.com. On the home page, you have to click on Open Photo Editor. A new window with several options appears. If you open the home page from within Germany, the default language is German. To change that, we just have to close the option window by clicking on the X button in the upper right corner. Then we have to go to Sprache in the menu bar and select the respective language. Now the previous window with the options appears again in the respective language. Now we want to open an image from our computer. And here we can select any image saved on our computer. In order to change the image size, you choose under Image, Image Size. Here you can change the width and the height of the picture, both given in pixels and additionally if you leave the tick, which is set by default for constraint properties, your image won't be distorted if you change width or height. If we want to work with only a part of the image, we have to choose one of the selection tools, for instance the Marquee tool. Drag the mouse over the part to be selected while pressing the left mouse button. Then go to Image and Crop. In order to adjust contrast, brightness and hue, Select under Adjustments the options Brightness and Contrast or Hue and Saturation. Change the Brightness, Contrast, OK, and then we can change the Hue and Saturation. OK. After finishing your editing, you can save your image, for instance, as JPEG under File and Save. The default setting for the Save Image window is to save the picture on your computer. But you can also choose other options, for instance, to publish your image on Facebook immediately. You also can give a new name to your image and select the format. Then you just have to select the quality of your image and finally save. 